Hi, it's my time to shine. I will be doing what to expect reading for my sign of Libras. You could take a resonate and you can be the rest. I'm going to see your current energy. My cards is already pre-shuffled, but I always do them. I will not be doing any personal readings. I will not be doing no chakra clearance. Well, yeah, clearances, cleanings, explanations uh, until 2021 to further notice because I need time to, like, focus on my own life for right now. And it takes a lot out of me. So, I'll just be doing regular readings, the ones I want to do. The only thing I will be offering is $60 emergency reads that will be done in 24 hours. Prior to that, it's nothing else going on. The overall energy is the Eight of Swords. Reverse. Lord of Short and Force. Is your overall energy, which is Swords are your Swords. Because you're in that energy. I'm going to see what the universe has to say. What is the present energy surrounding Libra at this time? What's the surrounding energy? What's the surrounding energy? What's the surrounding energy? Whoa. Okay. Okay, you got a lot of swords. The first card is the Ten of Wands, Reverse, Lord of Opposition, Oppression. Like, you're going through something, but you're not making something happen with the Ten of Swords. It's like, you got a lot on your plate, but you could be coming up out of this energy. That was the past. You also got the Chariot. You moving fast towards something. I'm not, I'm not sure what, though. You have the Knight of Swords. Somebody that comes through quick. Collective fast, but they kind of nasty and got an attitude type. Then you got the nine of swords, which is despair, cruelty, stressing, um, anxiety. So that's for your future. So four cards came out. So I would say past, near future, future. No, past, present, near future, future is how I'm gonna do it because they the way they came out. I could also just do it as an extra overall card because you did have the swords at the bottom. So I'm going to go clarify what, what is all this going on for you for the Ten of Wands. You're coming up out of having a lot on your plate in the past. Yeah, you got the death card. It's a permanent ending. So you may end something that was giving you a lot to carry, a lot to bear. Death card is a Scorpio. It could have been dealing with a Scorpio. Or it's just your energy. Like you just cut something off. You're like, I'm not carrying all that on my plate no more. That's not for me to carry. And you cut that off. Or it could have been something on your back that you just cut off with the death card. I'm going to see um what's going on with the chariot. Well, well. Because mm -mm, I ain't even get it. What's the energy surrounding the chariot? You got the two of wands. Two of Wands basically is somebody feeling they got the whole world in their hands and they want to make something happen. So maybe you're moving forward to making something happen because you got everything you need or you feel as though you do. I'm going to clarify this Knight of Wands, which you got the Two of Pentacles. You're trying to stay balanced and afloat in a situation. You could be dealing with a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo, or you're just in their energy. Let me clarify this Nine of Swords, distress, judgment. Which is a good car. Whatever's bringing you stress and anxiety, judgment is there for you for this situation. Card almost fair. I'm going to go back and I'm going to clarify this death card. I want to see what ended that took you, you moved quick out of the energy. I think you just moved quick out of the energy and you just dead something. You got the king of cups. You're using your emotions in the past. Using your emotions. Something, something had you in your emotions. Let's see about the two of wands. Having a whole world in your hands. Okay. You got the seven of wands reverse. 
So the seven of wands is you coming, you, you're, you're tired of taking up for yourself. Like people coming at you and you like, fuck out of here, fuck out of here. But you're coming up out of that. Like you're not taking care or taking up for yourself. Maybe you just don't feel like it. Like you just don't care what nobody say. That's how I take that. Like people coming at you and you like, you might just say one thing, but you just letting people talk. You just letting people say or do whatever, not do, but come at you. In a certain way, they're not touching you, but they they trying to like they direct this shit at you, and you don't give a fuck. Like that's bottom line. I'm gonna see with the two of Pentacles. You got the Empress reverse. Mmm. This is somebody that's this is the daughter of the Mighty One, but she's not happy right now. So this could be dealing with an Empress. You could be dealing with this is the Libra energy. So, like, right now, your face always straight, as I tell people. No matter Empress this way or that way, she always straight. Even if she happy, you don't see it. She, like, she remind me of the movie on Watcher with the crown with Queen Elizabeth. Like, no matter what she go through, her face, and she always waving and doing a fake smile. Even if she's sad or bad, she do the same thing. And that's how I'm taking the lever for what's going on here. I'm going to see what the last judgment is about for you. Your reading is a little bland. But I just feel like you gave something up. You like, man, I'm not dealing with that shit. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not gonna be. You got one card went to the right and one card went to the left. I'm gonna take both. Because what was I clarifying? Oh, the two of wands. You got Fort Two, Daughter of the Flaming Sword. This is a great car. This is somebody that I just said, like the Queen Elizabeth, they go through some hard shit. Like I've been through. And a lot of Libras I know been through. But they still maintain getting through that shit with their head up and their feet and they on their fucking feet and they still fucking bossing. This is when you're going through some great stress and you still may able to, you excuse me, you're still able to maintain your ground. This is what it is. And that is y'all energy with the two. That's why you got the two of wands. You got the whole world in your hands. But you also got the high priestess reverse. There's some old other shit going on that, that you don't see right now. You don't see that's hitting that's going to come out. So I'm going on with that. I'm going to clarify the high priestess. Because I want to know. Why is the high priestess here? Oh, they gave me all these cards. But I got to take them the way they came out. Okay, you got the hangman. Somebody that's, you know, coming up out of being stuck in a certain state, which is a good card. You got the king of pentacles. This is a Cap Capricorn Taurus energy. Like, you just focusing on your money. That's why you moving fast past all this shit. You're not, you're not carrying no more burdens. You ended shit. You, 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 your emotions in the chat. You were focusing on your money. And then you got the ace of swords reversed, though. So, that could indicate some type of... To me, with the Ace of Swords, with this going on, and something that may be hidden as well, could indicate a hospital stay, a surgery. Maybe that's what's hidden, and you're going to have great strength with it. It could be. It, it could be. I'm going to clarify the Ace of Swords. Why is the Ace of Swords here? What's the energy surrounding the Ace of Swords? Damn. All them cards. Oh, well. They all reverse. You got the five of cups. You're coming up out of thinking about something that you lost with your emotions all over the place. You're coming up out of that energy. So maybe you, if it's so, my condolences, maybe you lost somebody that had some type of operation, had some type of surgery. Could have been. You got the sun, like, reverse, like, you're not going to be happy with a certain situation. You could be dealing with a Leo. It could deal with some, um, I'm not sure. You have the Knight of Pentacles reverse, which is a Capricorn Taurus verbal energy. And then you got the Eight of Cups, like, you're not moving forward and your emotions are all over the place. So this could indicate a hospital stay for, for somebody. Something that's hidden because you do got the high priestess. Like, that's what I'm seeing. Literally, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go to your future and I'm going to see what this Knight of Swords is about that's coming through. Because the Knight of Swords comes through quick. Maybe it's something quick that's about to come to you. Because I didn't see the Eight of Wands. So let's see. You got the Ace of Wands. A new beginning. So it's a new beginning in something. It could be something that you lost. 
a new beginning in something else. Could be lost of anything. But you get the universe giving you a new beginning. Let me try this two of pentacles. I want to see why this two of pentacles is here. What's the energy surrounding the two of pentacles? What's the energy surrounding the two of pentacles? You got the queen of pentacles crossing you, but usually this is reversed. So you might be dealing with a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. This is somebody that's right now, they just not, they got an attitude. Like the queen reverses somebody that just don't got time for bullshit. It could be, you know, somebody around you that need to have their money more intact. Maybe somebody is mad at you because you got a new beginning, this queen. Because you got Capricorn in your reading. I'm going to clarify the Empress reverse because that's higher than the Queen. You got that reverse. Maybe you got two women mad at you for something as well. You got the Eight of Wands. I just said that. I knew this would come out. Yeah. You want to get information that's coming fast to you or somebody going to pop up at your house or they're going to call you, text you something. You want to get something fast about somebody. And it could be somebody that may be in a hospital. That got to get an emergency operation. But everything happens so fast. It's like when you get the information. It's like won't be done already or something. Because I just said the eight of wands didn't come out. And that's the lore of the swiftness. When something got to get to you fast. But it's going to still be fast. But I think things already going to be emotion. I'm going to see the nine of swords. Because you got the nine of swords. And this one ain't going on. Like you're going to be under some anxiety and stress when you get this. Let me see something. Why's, mm, what's the energy for the Nine of Swords? What's the energy surrounding the Nine of Swords, universe? You got the Nine of Wands reverse as well. Lord of the Flame and Lighting. Yeah, it's something that's going to struck you. It's going to strike you. And it, it, it it's like, it's, it's just not, they're not going to be happy with something. But you won't get judgment over it, which is a good card. Let me see. What's the overall energy? Justice reverse. Like, maybe this hospital situation is, is, is something that's not going to... I don't know why they ended up in a hospital, but it's going to be something fast, and they're going to have to get an operation or something is what I'm seeing. It's going to be like a new beginning. I Because you got the justice reverse. And, but you got the will of fortune, which is good luck is on your side. So you won't go through something when I'm seeing from my Libras. You won't go through something. You want to go through something. But I don't, I, I can't really, because I'm not doing fully reads, even though this read was full, but not full as I would like to go. So just, this is just something to expect that may pop up in your life. That's going to have you like not good right now and then you got an empress which is the highest she hired in the queen and you got the queen of pentacles reverse so it's like different women that's in like you know it's different women you got libra energy here you got the Taurus energy here you got all these women you got king of cups you got the king of wands so this might be a family situation that something gonna happen that somebody is gonna end up sick and may need an operation and by the time you get to, by the time you get the message things gonna already be happening so, somebody's not well here or somebody's want to have something to do with something. Because emotions is all over the place. It's Something's going to be happening really fast. And it's something hidden. That's going to come out. Come out with patience. All will be revealed. Yeah, you got the. It's something. And then the, the, the um, angel whispers say, take time out. Give yourself time to have fun. Like I was saying, after all this, you want to need air. You're going to need air with what's coming to you. So... This is for my Libras. This is what to inspect. Reading. Take what resonate. Leave the rest. This is not time based. This is timeless. So whenever you see this, this will be for you. Just I'll pray the best for everything that could come your way. And God, I trust. Amen.